Clara took a teaching job at Cole Hill School. She attended teaching school before taking the job, where she met fellow teacher Crystal Dean. She then received the job offer shortly after becoming qualified, perhaps with the doctor's help. When she started at school, Clara temporarily said goodbye to the doctor and the TARDIS, so she could live a normal life for a while. Six weeks in, she began to regret this decision. In at least one lesson, she lost control of the class and tried to use empty threats to make the children behave. This was unsuccessful, and later this memory would help her when facing threats against her in a further adventure. In one particular lesson, Clara decided to switch things up, proclaiming, normal is overrated, and brought her English class outside to teach them about tardigrades, in an attempt to give them a glimpse into the wonders of the universe. Once they got settled on the grass, she instructed them to look up at the sky for 10 seconds, then to shut their eyes, count to five, open them again and tell her what they saw. Clara rendezvoused with the 11th doctor after school some days and was with him when his TARDIS was airlifted by unit to the National Gallery. There, Clara met Kate Stewart and consoled the doctor when he was reminded of the last Great Time War. She traveled with a Zygon impersonating Kate Stewart to the Black Archive unaware that the scientific leader of UNIT was being impersonated. Using the code scraped into the wall of the Tower of London, Clara activated Captain Jack Harkness' Vortex Manipulator and escaped the menacing Zygons by traveling to 1562. There, she met the War Doctor, Tenth Doctor and Queen Elizabeth I and attended the wedding of the latter two. She was inserted into the Gallifreyan stasis cube Gallifrey falls no more with the doctors to surreptitiously re-enter the Black Archive in the 21st century. When the war doctor left for his own time to activate the moment, Clara told the two remaining doctors that she could see in his eyes that the ending of the time war was still in the earlier incarnation's future. She traveled through the time lock with the doctors and begged them to reconsider when they decided to cause the genocide together. They took this advice to heart. She was therefore present when the doctor changed history as he remembered it, and saved Gallifrey instead of destroying it. Back on Earth, she briefly met the mysterious curator, unaware that anything was extraordinary about him. She bade farewell to the past doctors, and kissed her doctor on the cheek. When the doctor asked how she knew he needed time alone with the painting, she told him, I always know. Clara visited the Black Archive twice, but only had a memory of visiting once. As a result of the visit that she did not remember, she already had security access during the visit she did remember. At some point, Clara took Taekwondo lessons with the Year 7s after school. On her travels with the doctor, Clara was attacked by a mind parasite that was dubbed Waits. Waits caused Clara to live a horrible life where she lost her job and all her money but she retained enough awareness to seek out the doctor, who called himself, John Smith, within the shared dream, only for him to turn her away. Eventually Clara managed to shatter the illusion, seconds after the doctor, whereupon she physically attacked the parasite for the hell it had subjected her to before she and the doctor ripped its avatars off its other victims, killing it. As the two walked away, the doctor theorized that Clara's self-awareness was the result of her having lived multiple lives. Clara smiled that the lack of doctor was probably what had tipped her off that something was amiss. Clara visited the Obsidian mainframe and attended the auction for various creatures. She was with the doctor when the TARDIS was sold, and the doctor gained a lot of money. They were then forced to travel, the normal way, to the Cornucopia's airport, where Amy Johnson lived. 